Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things video short. Be watchful, the wise and foolish virgins. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on that faith to the next generation. Like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get the app. It's available on all major platforms and donate. Your tax-deductible gift to higherthings.org keeps us filling the ears of youth all over the world with the saving power of the gospel. And they need those that gift in these dark times. This last Sunday was the traditional Sunday of the fulfillment, the last Sunday in the church year, the wise and foolish virgins. Let's take a look at the text first. The kingdom of God is like, will be like, will be like 10 virgins who took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were wise, five of them were foolish, moronic, and five were wise. For when the foolish took their lamps, they, did, they took no oil with them. But the wise took flasks of oil with their lamps. As the bridegroom, the Greek says here, took his time. He was not delayed. He took his time. Um, they all became drowsy and slept. They all died. But at midnight, there was the cry, here's the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those virgins rose and trimmed their lamps. The foolish said to the wise, give us some oil for our lamps have gone out. But the wise answered saying, since there will not be enough for us and for you, go rather to the dealers and buy some for yourselves. And while they were gone to buy, the bridegroom came and those who were ready went in with him to the marriage feast and the door was shut. Afterwards, the other virgins came, saying, Lord, open the door for us. But he answered, Truly I say to you, I do not know you. 13. Watch, therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour. First, let's get rid of the moralizing. The wise virgins are not made of better stuff than the foolish virgins. They all fall asleep. They all die. The difference is in the oil. The foolish virgins believed they had enough oil. They calculated, they did their poll watching, uh, they counted that they had enough, enough to make it through the night. And really, who wants to be carrying around a flask of oil? It doesn't, does this oil make my dress look too big? It doesn't accessorize well. The foolish virgins deemed they had enough oil. The wise, on the other hand, the wise virgins never had enough oil. They never believed that they had enough Jesus or grace or forgiveness or faith or the cross or good works or love for their neighbor. They didn't have enough. And so there was always more. They needed more. And so they brought more. So when the bridegroom came, they trimmed their lamps, but the foolish ones didn't have enough oil because they had reasoned that they had enough. And at that point, the gift rejection was unfixable. You see, the Lord doesn't force anyone to believe that, to believe or to receive his gifts. And their rejection happened well before the door was closed on them. They were responsible for their own rejection because of their, they thought they had enough. The parable is about watchfulness, being watchful for the coming of the kingdom of God. And it's like these two virgins, sets of virgins, five wise, five foolish. Those who believe they have enough, they're prepared enough that they have enough inside themselves or with what they have and haven't done. And those that have never enough, Jesus and cross and forgiveness. Faith. Faith is the way of always more. Always more of the Lord's gifts, whatever those gifts are. And I would resist the temptation of defining the oil as we didn't find the, define the talents a few weeks ago. I think that has to do with everything about faith and Jesus. Um, you, you're free to disagree with me in the description. 
Uh, it could be faith. It could be the Lord's gifts. It could be good works. It could be whatever is around church. It could be whatever is connected to the receiving of Jesus. You see, the wise virgins knew who it was they were waiting for. And only those who know who they are waiting for know it who are watchful for who's coming for them. The foolish ones, they were okay on their own and they didn't need more. But wise and wisdom and faith desires always more. Always more Jesus, always more forgiveness, always more service of neighbor, almost more, more sacrament, always more baptismal talk. Never enough. Never enough. And our preparation, our watchfulness is in that, in those gifts. They occur in those gifts. You're prepared, you're not prepared. Always more, that's the way of faith. And when the bridegroom comes, you'll find an open door. A door opened for you in the waters of your baptism, fed into you in the word, absolved into you in the words of your pastor, and bodied and blooded into you in the sacrament. Those gifts creating more gifts for others. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, self-control. Against such things there is no counting or law. There is always more for others. Be watchful. For you know neither the day nor the hour of his coming. I'm Pastor George Barkhart, and this has been another Higher Things video short.